Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So last week when I started this little project on trying to get my greenhouse heater going, I, can't, I couldn't quite get the water to flow up to the height that I wanted just from the pressure alone. But what happened a couple of days after that was the water butt had collapsed. Uh, the foundations of what I put my water butt on had given way and the water butt collapsed. And now this is the state of my water butt at the moment. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is try and push this back into shape and get it into a workable fo form so I can have another go. So let's try and do that. I think it'll just pop out if I just apply some pressure on the inside. But I think it's going to be harder than I'm expecting. So let me go around this side and give it a little push. See if I can just push it out. No, I can't. I'm going to have to get inside it and give it a push from inside. I'm not videoing me getting inside it. Okay, so you can keep dreaming. So it's not perfect, so you can see where the bumps are, but it'll do, I mean it'll do, it'll do our job. Let's have another go, let's get this back up and running, see what happens. So I don't know if it's brave or if it's a little bit foolish, but I've gone one level of brick higher as well. I'll put in another level of bricks just to get it that much higher, see if I can get some more water pressure coming down. So I'm going to start filling this water butt and I'm going to start filling the hotbed as well. So while the water butt's filling up, we've got a layer of wood chips into the hotbed and now what I'm going to add is I'm going to start adding some manure. This manure is probably about four or five months old, so it's not well rotted but it's not fresh either. I mean I would have ideally have liked to go and pick some fresh manure up so, uh, so it has a lot of heat in it but this isn't overly fresh. So I'll add a couple more bags in there and get it get it level off, fill up all those gaps. So there's a couple of bags of manure, let's get that leveled off. When You can see how many worms are in there, there's loads and loads of worms in there. Getting my hands in all this manure, lovely. <laughs> see I'm not ready to give up on this yet. Even if I can't get the water to flow just off the heat and the pressure from the water butt, then at least what will happen is the hotbed will start heating up and it'll give me some heat through you know just air heating the air see I'm gonna keep filling this and getting it filled up all the way so I've got some wood chips I'm gonna I've got some manure I'm gonna get some more fresh wood chips in these wood chips what I did with them is after I fill them well after I chip them I put them in buckets and let them soak in the buckets so they absorb a lot of water so once it's full to the top very rarely will the water when you just water from the top reach all the way down to the bottom so it's good to soak the wood chips first very nice you know, give them a proper soaking before you move forward so now here's some greens from my own garden these are all um, trimmings from my last um, what's it called the vine from my fig leaf gourd, I've just shredded that up that you saw me shredding up in the first part of this video now there we go, so that's that's it, that's in there and it's still quite big well I mean this stuff will lose volume quite a bit so don't, so even though it looks like it's a good green layer it's not because it'll lose so much volume very quickly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more manure straight on top of this you can see the amount of worms that are just sat in my manure already I mean this manure I'd be quite happy to get on top of the garden bed. So I've got a fair bit of manure in there now. Now I'm going to get the last bit of my gourd vine in there. And this is going to give me a nice airy layer in there. So now what I'm adding is wood chip from the run of my chicken, run, chicken house. Or the, the floor of my chicken run. So this will contain a lot of manure it'll contain a lot of wood chips, it'll contain a lot of other organic matter that's breaking down so 
So when Jean Payne used to make this, he was just making it with just wood chips. Now he'd build his wood wood chip piles absolutely huge, so they'd be very they'd be they'd be yeah they'd be absolutely massive. And he'd run water, you know, he'd run hot water for his whole house. Now what we're doing is we're just trying to hopefully get enough heat coming out of here to just keep our greenhouse from freezing and keep it stay above stay to about four or five degrees so our plants don't die. So what's important to add is I've just added some quite dry wood chips so I'm gonna give it another I'm gonna give it a bit of water and get plenty of water into here. Let's get some more manure in here. Bags falling apart. This is hard work. This is hard work. Let's get some more manure in here. So you might think that this is quite green heavy and it's deliberately done like that because a lot of green material, what will tend to happen is it will become a little bit anaerobic. But because we're trying to generate heat rather than compost, it will compost and that's not a problem. What we're trying to do is we're trying to make this into a heating process rather than just a composting process. And anaerobic compost piles will heat for a lot longer and that's what we're aiming to do here. We don't want it completely anaerobic and completely stale so it becomes sour. That's why we've added a bit of brown in there but we do want that longer lasting heat rather than immediate heat. So I've got a bag of leaves. I mean, variety is the spice of life. So it's good to have a good mix of everything in here. So there we go, some nice Lots of lots of leaves and these are already breaking down but let's get these in here there we go a nice pile of leaves so let's give these leaves a little bit of a water get some more mixed wood chips from the floor of my chicken run on top of there So I'm going to leave that there tonight and I'm going to come back tomorrow and try and top it up. I'm going to see where the gaps are, see how much it's dropped overnight and then top it up some more. I'm not going to fill it anymore now so I know how much space I need to work with tomorrow. So I've got my tap onto my water but let's see how high we can get the water to flow. This one there, I'll hand it right in. I can hear it rumbling, I can hear it rumbling. I can hear some rumbles. Well, I heard something. Where's it all gone? Oh, there we go. There we go. There we had some water. So it's flowing to there. Now let's see what happens if I stretch it just a little bit higher. Uh, it stops flowing. It stops flowing just like before. So that's my kink, that's my mistake at the minute. So I can't quite get it to flow all the way up. But I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna hope. So what I'm hoping for. So you can see how close I am with the water pressure. I can just about get to there. It's that last eight inches that I can't get my lift. I mean, I went one level higher with my water butt hoping that it will give me that lift and push me all the way to the top but it's not quite doing it what I'm hoping is if I leave it overnight and let this let this heat up it might just push the water over the top and get it up to the you know get it up to my last eight inches if not if I can't do that then I might have to think about putting some sort of pump device in here it's not something that I wanted to do but it might but it might be my only option